Yeah. Are we recording? Hey, we're down at the Gallery of Local Artists in downtown Kingsport on Broad Street. Uh, we were going to talk with Patty Lawrence, but apparently I have to do almost all of the talking. Please. Sorry. Patty, um, where are you from? You're not a Northeast Tennessean. I'm from uh, Northern Sullivan County. <laughs> no, I grew up. Hello, Lisa. I have. Uh, I'm on TV right now. So. No, I grew up in Clifton, New Jersey, which is a suburb of New York City. That's uh, that's Sopranos territory. That's exactly all those places that they show on the Sopranos is where I grew. I know that place. I know that place. So. Well, how'd you end up here? Um, my husband Eddie Lawrence um, was up there working for Bechtel, cleaning up toxic waste, and. Uh, because they have that in New Jersey. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, and plenty of it. But actually, now it's all gone because uh, uh, Bechtel and the EPA cleaned most of it up. So, it, yeah. Well, I've been open since last September. Uh, then this space became available and I just jumped on it because it was a gold mine. It's right next to the stage. It's like the best corner in downtown. And I tried to get all the local artists to start a co-op, but I got a little ifs, no's, maybe's, but, and the place was gonna be gone, so I jumped on it myself. Well, you are quite the talented artist. You've got several of your pieces hanging. You've also got your sculpture here on the floor. How long have you been working uh, in sculpture and painting? Um, well, my whole life, ever since I was a little kid, I just, nobody could throw anything away because I had to ask if I needed it for something or wanted it. And so, needless to say, I became a pack rat collecting junk. You may see me in your garbage can later today if it's garbage day and I love junk and I love making ugly junk into beautiful objects. So one man's junk is another woman's beautiful art. That is correct. All right. well, <laughs> can we walk around and get you to show us some of the art? Sure. All right. You may all recognize that house that's at the bottom of uh, Bays Mountain. I've often taken pictures of it in hopes of painting a picture myself of that house but why bother when somebody has already nailed it perfectly so. <laughs> uh, Aurora Pope's work uh, definitely is uh, a departure from realism. Uh, she likes uh, people to bring their own experiences to it. It's sort of dreamlike, um, kind of unconscious, and she uses you know lots and lots of layers of shellac and pigment and scratches the surface, and uh, you really get lost, caught up in it, and it's almost impossible not to want to touch it which you usually can't, but I'll let you with the back of your finger. This artist's name is uh, Joan Elliott, and she uses uh, something called beeswax. It's also known as encaustic, and the pigment is right in the melted wax, and then she manipulates it on the surface, and then it dries, and, um, and there you have it. Here's another Kingsport artist, uh, Leslie Davis. Uh, lots of people must know her. She used to teach at the high school for years and years, and uh, she's also out painting around Kingsport. She's uh, what they call a plein air painter. That just means painting, painting outside. Um, and we have some woodcut and lithographs by an artist named John Hilton. And most of his work uh, tends towards farm animals, and he has a great sense of humor. This one's called Chicken and Stars. And we have some still lives by Mary Lou McSpadden. We have some large scale acrylic works um, by Russell Blankenship. And of course, the ever famous Jeffrey Stoner photography by Jeff Stoner, who's always out and about and taking the most beautiful photographs of our region that you'll ever see. We've got work by Margaret Helvey. She does a lot of uh, collage and mixed media work. Probably one of our most famous artists is Paul de Marais. His name is up there. And he works in pastels and he also teaches uh, pastel workshops here and over at the Renaissance Center and all around the country. I think he's, they're shipping them out to uh, somewhere in California next year to do a workshop and he's absolutely brilliant he actually manufactures his own pastels won't use any store-bought ones because they're they don't have enough pigment his are like 99 percent pure pigment with just a tiny amount of binder uh, which is what holds it together what do you know this is my work i'm kind of all over the place in any other gallery they would say well we can only represent you if you have a unified body of work 
which I'll never have because uh, I'm lucky if I can get through a piece without becoming so bored with it that I can't finish it. So I'm kind of all over the place. Most of my stuff is um, musically inclined. I love music, I love to dance. Um, and I can actually feel music and see music. I'm one of those freaky synesthetic people. You ever hear of that, where they have names have colors and, well anyway, I see music. No drugs involved, just naturally. <laughs> and so it just, it's what I love the most and uh, I like to put it into three-dimensional form or two-dimensional form.